Hello, I am Loretha Mayberry, and to my right is Marilyn McGarry, and to my left is Miss Vicki Young. And uh, she is our guest here on this evening. Of course, I know it's morning for you. And we have a great topic for you uh, to bring in other people. Bring, get, call someone, have them to come. Uh, if they don't come, have them turn on their TV and, and listen to this program because it's an important topic uh, that we have to discuss and for her to share with us uh, this evening. And it's on grief share. And you know that there are so many people that are transitioning, whether it be natural or whether it be through by gangs or otherwise. And so I'm going to turn it over to Miss Vicki, Miss Vicki Young. I'm going to ask the first question, though, just to have her to, to uh, share, start sharing. But what I think I'll do is to ask her to just tell us a little bit about herself. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hello everyone. Again, uh, my name is Vicki Young, uh, born and raised here in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Um, I am the mother of seven children and I am the grandmother to 17 grandbabies that uh, call me Gigi. <laughs> um, and for 26 years, uh, I served as the um, wife to my husband, Mr. Terry Young, uh, who passed away about six years ago. And so um, I know firsthand um, what it means to try to um, pick yourself up after such a great loss and try to continue to move forward in not only taking care of your family, but also uh, making sure that you take care of yourself. And yes. so this particular program came along at a time where I didn't really know just what I wanted to do with myself. I just knew that I had to do something. Um, because I was really in a um, pitfall mm -hmm. of depression. Uh, I soon found out later that it was referred to as grief-related mm -hmm. depression. Mm -hmm. um, and so I became a facilitator for the program, Grief Share, along with, um, there's a, about six other facilitators. We all work together. Um, the NOV, North Omaha um, Village of Churches, mm -hmm. uh, brought this uh, program forward to us and um, again we went through it as facilitators uh, it was very helpful uh, we were able to learn some things about ourselves and recognize some of the stages that we were and some of us still are in as it relates to grief and the loss of our loved ones um, and then we just um, a couple of weeks ago just finished up our first session mm -hmm. And we had about um, we had about four or five participants. Mm -hmm. um, we we were a little hung up on the number, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we knew that those who attended and who attended on a regular basis, that they were really gleaming from the information That's and awesome. felt that it was uh, a benefit to them and their grief process. And so um, here I am to share the information with the rest of the community. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, when can people begin grief share? Um, the way that it's set up, because it is a uh, what we would consider to be a 13-week program, mm -hmm. um, is open to the community. So it's not like it's a continuous type of, of program. You can come in on the first session. Um, you may miss session three and four, but then come in on the fifth session. It's because it's a continual type of program. Um, there's a video aspect to it um, where there, there's, it, the video can be anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes long. And then there's a video, a, um, excuse me, a workbook that goes along with it oh, okay. with questions and homework as we call it. Um, and, and then there is the group discussion. And so because it's, it's fluid like it is, people can kind of come and go um, and not necessarily miss out on any key information. They that's, can always go back to the website that's good. and get more information as well. So That's good. So if they came in in the middle of, because I believe you've already started for this session. We're Adam. getting ready to start. Our, our <laughs> next session is, is starting uh, September the 17th. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Well, even if it was already going on, um, people could still come in. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. And what we encourage 
um, participants to do. You know, some will say, well, I don't know if I can be committed the full 13 weeks. 13 weeks seem like a long time. We ask individuals to at least give us three. Mm -hmm. Give us three meetings, whether it's the first meeting or a meeting in the middle. Mm -hmm. Give us three, and because we believe that um, the information that they gain from these uh, discussions that they will, it'll help in some type of way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm telling you, I'm just really excited about the program because uh, people, when we, when we lose loved ones, we, and a lot of times, like you said, it seemed like you were saying that you didn't realize that you were depressed from mm -hmm. grief. Mm -hmm. And people are all, all, all the time going through stress and grief and depression and so this program is, is, I think, is an excellent program for those who lose loved ones and, um, you know, and, and they're grieving. They, mm -hmm. they have a place to go. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's a lot of places in Omaha, or at least in North Omaha, is there? Right. Well, there is a, 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 a program called uh, Grief's Journey. It used to be known as Teddy Bear Hollow. Mm -hmm. And so they're more um, well known within the community overall, but as far as in North Omaha or in the African American community, we don't see a lot of grief support services per mm -hmm. se. Mm -hmm. At the same time, and you know, maybe the two of you can um, chime in on it, is that when we as African Americans, when we grieve, we believe it's something that we take on ourselves. Mm -hmm. It stays within the family. Not just mm -hmm. that it stays within the family, but it stays within the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, you cry your tears, you wash your face, and you go out into the community with your game face on. Mm -hmm. Well, oftentimes, grief is, is too overwhelming, and there yes. are times where you can't put your game face yes. on. Yes. You know, you can't be your best. Mm -hmm. And so, um, we, through the NOV, which I'm very appreciative of them, the uh, North Omaha Village of Churches, um, making this opportunity available uh, to the community because, you know, just with um, COVID-19, mm -hmm. you know, the hard hit that, yes. that our community yes. Yes. Um, had uh, through the um, gun violence. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily all gang related because right. there have been, you know, some incidents where people have been, you know, shot and killed who weren't affiliated with gangs. Mm -hmm. um, and, but nevertheless, their families are suffering, their That's families right. are grieving. That's right. And then there's just everyday loss with, you know, um, loved ones with health issues, be it heart attacks or diabetes or kidney issues, you know. Um, our families are, are grieving and, yes. and oftentimes we don't know how to how to grieve mm -hmm. um, when participants come through grief share the first thing we let them know one is that the space is safe mm -hmm. so That's whatever true. they want to talk about whatever they want to share mm -hmm. um, they know that it's not leaving those four walls yes and then the second thing we try to hone in on is the fact that we all grieve different Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, there are some who can put their game face on and go on about everyday mm -hmm. business, mm -hmm. but then there are some who are just stuck in their room and can't get out the bed, mm -hmm. um, can't comb their hair or get dressed or cook for their children or go to work. Mm -hmm. And so we let them know that that's okay too. Mm -hmm. Right. But right. at the same time, there's also ways to um, address that and mm -hmm. try to overcome it and that there are resources available to help them with that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm telling you, it's, it's really a very much needed program. I, as you were talking, I, I kind of reflected back on my mm -hmm. own times of, uh, and you've lost a loved mm -hmm. one not long ago, but mine has been some time ago, well, six years ago, because your husband was a son to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And so um, that, you know, it would have been good to have somewhere to go and to talk things out. But like you said, I, I put on my, you call it what, a game face? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, and I kept on rolling, mm -hmm. but uh, that was very hard for me. And then at uh, uh, the sister that transitioned uh, the year before he transitioned, 
that that was very hard. Mm -hmm. And then the few years before that, it was two sisters, one, uh, they passed two, in seven days of each other's mm -hmm. death. And so that, that was the very worst. And, and that, it, with that, I, I really needed some help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really needed some help. And, uh, but uh, I didn't know where to go or, or how to share it or mm -hmm. uh, who to share with or, or anything like that. And sometimes people think you are really strong and you're really tough and that mm -hmm. you, you're that all right. True. That's and true. And so after the funeral is over, everybody go back to their regular that lives, is true. you know, doing whatever they know to do. Mm -hmm. So did you have anything? Uh, no, I, was, I wanted to, was, we might get to this later, is do you take them through the grief process? I don't know, is it? 10 stages or right not whatever. necessarily mm -hmm. um, but there are certain subject matters that uh, we do cover so like the very first one is called is this normal and of course there's a video that talks about um, what you know different people share their testimonies mm -hmm. on what they have experienced whether it was a loss of a mother the loss of a child mm -hmm. uh, uh, the loss of a friend um, and they, the, um, the facilitators in the video kind of talk us through, you know, what does normal look like to you? And mm -hmm. that it may look different to me, but at the same time, mm -hmm. it's still normal to experience what you do. Mm -hmm. And so some of the other subject matters are like the challenges of grief, yeah. um, grief and anger, mm -hmm. um, heaven, you know, we, we talk about heaven. Uh, because this program is a, a non-denominational, mm -hmm. biblically based um, mm -hmm. program, mm -hmm. you know, we do have their scriptures in there. There's opportunities where if you feel the need to want to pray that those, are, those opportunities are given. Um, but as far as the 10 stages, we don't say, well, this is stage one, mm -hmm. this is stage two, stage yeah. three. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have um, space where if those sub if that came up, we, mm -hmm. we talk about it. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you jump past some of those stages, you may not actually enter them, or you yes. can get stuck in them too. Yes, yes. And not realize it. Um, I talked about, um, especially with my husband, I just purchased um, a new home uh, on my own, mm -hmm. and um, the sink fell out of, away from the cabinet, and mm -hmm. it um, was dislodged, and my son disconnected it, and he sat it on the, Mm -hmm. floor and so about for about two days we didn't have a sink mm -hmm. um, and so I was mad yeah <laughs> I was yeah. mad because he was gone you know yep. would have yes. been in that's right it, I, it had nothing to do with the sink those things happen <laughs> I was mm -hmm. mad because he was not there to take care of the sink he, yeah. I was mad that he wouldn't have taken it away from the counter and put it on the floor. <laughs> he would have fixed, he would have fixed it. it. He would have fixed it. And so there have been other little mishaps that have happened around the home that where I was angry because I'm like, I just wish he were here to fix it. Yeah. You know? and, I, and I like the fact you said the, one of the questions or sessions is, is this normal? Yes. Because sometimes you still have these times when you miss them. Mm -hmm. You miss your loved ones, or oh, something reminds definitely. you of them. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, yeah, and most definitely. Mm -hmm. I, and those are normal. Yes, yes. I, I love telling this story. It's, it, it wasn't funny then, mm -hmm. but it's hilarious now. <laughs> and um, it was a, I want to say maybe a month or so after uh, my husband Terry passed away, and one of the mothers of the church, she was coming to console me and, and comfort me, and she was telling me how well I was doing with the children mm -hmm. and how nice they were dressed and, and all those kinds of things. And she says, I know you miss your husband, it's, it's gonna be okay. And, and so I was saying, thank you, mother, thank you. And she says, yeah, she says, I've, I've, met my, I've been without my husband now for 30 years. Oh. And that's all I heard mm -hmm. was the 30 years. Cause I was like, please father, I, I don't want to live like this mm -hmm. for the next 30, 30 years, years. Yeah. Yes. I don't want to yes. be this mm -hmm. sad or mm -hmm. this grief stricken for the next 30 years because mm -hmm. yes. um, 
the scripture says, you know, weeping man endureth for a night, mm -hmm. this joy comes in the morning. Yes. Well, I didn't want my joy to come, you know, in 30, 30 years. years yeah. I, I, I want it to yes. come when it's supposed to and that I be ready for it. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I share with people that my husband has been gone for six years, going on seven, there are um, individuals who I cross paths with who say, well, my husband passed away two days ago yeah. or my husband passed away last year. And so yeah. then um, I have to humble myself and say, I remember what it was like mm -hmm. to be there. Yeah. And I'm thankful that I'm not there, that I have made some advancements, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, that I have um, mm -hmm. my healing process I'm getting better. Mm -hmm. And another important thing that I had to realize that we realized as the facilitators of Grief Share mm -hmm. and the participants is that, yes, we are grieving our loved one, mm -hmm. but we have loved ones who are grieving oh, that yeah. individual also. So like my mom, talk, I say I grieve my husband. Well, she's grieving her son. Mm -hmm. My children yes. are grieving their, the their loss dad. of their father and my grandchildren. Yes the loss of their um, grandpa and my si my siblings, they lost a brother and sure. his siblings. Yeah, you exactly. know what I'm saying? Yes. So um, we have to be mindful oh, yeah. of that as we go through this journey that we mm -hmm. call grief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That it affects the whole family. Mm -hmm. it, affects, it affects everyone, your friends. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's you know, right. Um, mm -hmm. I, I've lost friends. Mm -hmm. You know, because I could not be readily available to them mm -hmm. because I didn't feel like it because I was so sad, you know, yeah. um, yeah. and they moved on and did other yeah. other things, sure. you know. And so. You know, that's kind of sad, but but that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. uh, people, they don't understand. And sometimes they want to judge how long that is true. You should grieve. Mm -hmm. That is true. And so that's one reason I think that they move on. But that's, that's still sad, mm -hmm. that's, that's sad. Mm -hmm. Now, I know we maybe have passed this, but I wanted to make sure that the people know that uh, about the, uh, the registration stuff. Is okay. it free, you know, uh, or is there a charge? Or? Okay. Yes, yeah, so, so it is a free program, um, and it is open to individuals ages 21 years of age and older. Uh, we don't have the resources to provide um, grief share to um, young, young children um, or teenagers at this time. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And so 21 years of age or older is free to the, to the community. Um, and I do believe there's information that'll be put up at the end of the show as far as where they can call to get information mm -hmm. or to uh, the email address where they can call, where they can actually register. Yes. Um, the sessions are held on Saturdays uh, at the Charles B. Washington Branch Library, mm -hmm. located there at 2868 Ames Avenue. So right there off of 30th and Ames. Um, we, we welcome walk-ins. And again, it's from 11.30 to 1. The first session will begin September the 17th. Okay, awesome, awesome. That, that's awesome, you did a great job letting them know how to register and all that. Yeah. I wanna go back though, and you may have said it while I was looking at something else here in my notes, but uh, what about children? Uh, are, are children, can children attend those sessions, and if so, what age limits do you have? Okay, so again, we don't have it, the, the resources per se to um, serve the children. Mm -hmm. um, however, because we, we do believe in um, sharing resources and things of that nature, we will most likely refer those families to Grief's Journey okay. that do handle um, children, families, uh, individuals who may have uh, uh, undergone like a, a miscarriage or maybe a loved one has committed suicide or something of that nature, they have the resources to uh, serve those families. Mm -hmm. So, for, but for Grief Share, um, we are targeting um, individuals 21 years of age and older. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, that's good, that's good. Um, and I know that <clears throat> that you uh, spoke some about, let me see, where did it go? 
about guilt and anger, mm -hmm. anger, because she talked about your your sink and and what it, whatever about that. But guilt, have you had um, people to come and 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 uh, and I'm asking this because when I talked about the two sisters that passed within seven days apart, well, the first sister that passed, that's what really really sent me somewhere that I didn't want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, because the other sister, she had been sick with the Lou Gehrig disease. And uh, the other sister, it was a sudden death. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I remember being at the hospital on the floor saying, what is going on? What, mm -hmm. is, what is this? And then I went on a guilt trip uh, because she was a person that complained a lot. You know your Aunt Lee. She, and, uh, <laughs> And so, and then my guilt trip was, maybe she was uh, telling me that her ankle or whatever was bothering her and, mm -hmm. and, and I didn't, this, I didn't pay any attention. Mm -hmm. But I, I really had a rough, rough time with that. And so I'm saying all of this to say how important this program really is. Um, for, for those of you who need help, don't don't just hold back. Don't just stay home. C join, register and go go for the pro to the program. Mm -hmm. You will strictly get great help. Um, did you have anything, Marilyn? Um, something else I was going to say about. That. Well, I know that when it comes to the participants, um, one thing when it came to the guilt and, and anger they oftentimes shared how they would feel guilty because they are happy, that they are feeling better, that they are getting out and participating in extracurricular activities. Um, so having, having fun again, yeah. whereas they, you know, people want them to s still be in that sunken state, they want them to still be sad, mm -hmm. they want them to still grieve. Mm -hmm. and, we talk about that too, you know, um, that again, we all grieve differently, we all heal at different rates, and no one can dictate that to us except for the way that we process um, the, you know, grief the way that we do. So. Right, right. You know, I, I want you to talk just a little bit about um, uh, the facilitators, because I, I want people to understand that these are people who are qualified to uh, serve you because you guys went through right that um, the very same program. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and and many of you, if not all, benefited from going through the training and so forth. Could you just share a little bit about that? I uh, most definitely. Um, again. There's seven facilitators. Um, like I said, I, my greatest loss, although I've lost a parent, um, grandparent, uh, things of that nature. Um, I even had a miscarriage. So I've lost a child. Brother. Um, yep, I lost a Nephew. brother. Yep, sure did. And so, but with the other facilitators, you know, there's one where she lost both her parents, you know, mm -hmm. uh, within the same year, you know, a couple of months apart. Uh, one facilitator, you know, he talked about the loss of his, his dad because he took care of his dad and spent a lot of time with his dad. Um, there's one who talks about the loss of her sister. Um, another facilitator talks about the loss of his, um, of, of her dad. And so um, another, she talked about the loss of, of her neighbor and um, a few family members. So we were able to kind of go through a healing process ourselves. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Um, through this so that we can then prepare for, you know, the community. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to conclude this session on uh, Grief Share, uh, visiting with Miss Vicki Young. And we ask that you would come and uh, tune in uh, for our next session. We will continue talking about Grief Share which is, again, I cannot emphasize it enough that it is a very, very important mm -hmm. uh, program. And you have great people that will be working with you and being very tender with you and to, there to hear what you have to say. So we're going to uh, say bye to you now.
and we'll see you during the next session